Simulator Medical develops and integrates innovative medical training programs with our high fidelity surgical simulators. Not only do we create these simulators, we also facilitate the international distribution of our very innovative high fidelity simulators. From robotics to the Club Palette Simulator, Dr. Dale Podolsky here in SickKids Hospital here in Toronto was developing a robotic tool to perform cleft palate surgery. In order to test his work, Dr. Podolsky developed a cleft palate model. Dr. David Fisher, also of SickKids Hospital, saw the value of the model, so both of them went on improving the model. The simulator became a valuable method of developing and testing new surgical robotic tools and as a training tool in cleft palate surgery. SmileTrain took over Simulator Medical's operations in 2020, and it's really been just a fantastic, um, really synergistic experience. SmileTrain's number one priority as an organization is ensuring the safety and quality of every cleft lip and palate surgical treatment that we support around the world. Having surgeons that are trained as optimally as possible in cleft lip and palate surgery is a huge part of our ability to reach that commitment. And be able to put these simulators into the hands of surgeons has allowed us ultimately to ensure that every patient receives the highest quality care. Simulator Medical's future is very bright. In partnership with Smile Train, we have lots of exciting things planned. Um, first, we're going to continue to, to scale up production. We're working on how we can align it to some of the other amazing training resources that we have, like our virtual surgery simulator and new VR training that we're working to produce. We also want to continue to innovate. Right now, we have uh, cleft lip simulators, cleft palate simulators, alveolar bone graft, um, and cleft lip marking simulators, and we're looking at other procedures. The team at Simulator is so passionate about what they do each and every day, but they're constantly thinking about the ultimate end beneficiary, because at the end of this, there's a child who has a cleft and needs treatment to go on and live their, their happiest and healthiest life.